Fiorentina, I think about the second most possession in Syria. People are looking at his numbers, and I did this when we first did a scout report on him. You look at his numbers and you go, they're not as good as I thought they were, but do you know what they match up to? Rodri's. Mm. And why don't why doesn't Rodri have these amazing defensive numbers? Because they've got fucking ninety percent of the ball. Yeah. So he's he's dealing with the stuff that he has to deal with, but he's going to have to deal with far less than say Declan Rice would have had to deal with at West Ham. Therefore, the numbers are skewed. Mm -hmm. So I think there's a bit of that happen with Amrabat. Now, from what I've seen, and I'm trying to focus this as much on how I see him play at Fiorentina. He probably wouldn't be the deepest back permanently now. I think he could fill in that. He's, we saw that a little bit of the World Cup that he could probably be a a single pivot and be the main guy that does as an alternative for Casemiro yeah but I think I think that's what he's here to do I think he's going to play sometimes as the alternative to Casemiro and sometimes as the the partner next to Casemiro and then when it's fucking looting at home he's got his feet up or yeah. he's playing instead of Casemiro because only one of them needs to play 